Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals 20. How do we deal with this? Are we going to have 6 to the power of x equals 20? That would be wrong because we cannot add this and this together. But I can express this to have 2 as the base. So we'll have 2 to the power of 2, then to the power of x, plus 2 to the power of x, and is equal to 20. Okay, this 2 to the power of 2 will give 4. Then x is there. And another thing you should know is that you can change the position of this power 2 and x. x can come here, 2 can go there. So this will be the same thing as 2 to the power of x to the power of 2, then plus 2 to the power of x equals 20. Okay, so what I did here is, um, the reason I did this is for me to have 2 to the power x in two places. So we can simply say let 2 to the power of x be equal to y. And if that is the case, we'll be having y squared plus, in place of 2 to the power of x, we'll have y, then the square on it is there, then 2 to the power x is y, and this will be equal to 20. Here we have a quadratic equation. Bring 20 to the other side as it becomes y to the power of 2 plus y minus 20, and it becomes 0. This is equal to 0. Because 20 is now on the left hand side and there's nothing on the right. And you cannot leave out the equal sign, right? Now what do we do? Two numbers we multiply to get minus 20 and add them or put them together to get 1. Okay, the numbers will be 5 and minus 4. Because 5 times minus 4 will give minus 20. And then 5 plus, or 5 minus 4 will give 1. So this means that the factors will be y plus 5. And then the second factor will be y. Sorry, this is y minus 4. And this is equal to 0. So we have y plus 5 to be equal to 0. Or y minus 4 to be equal to 0. y from here is 0 minus 5 or y is equal to 0 plus 4. y from here equals minus 5 or y equals 4. Okay, and um, let's keep going. This is all we have, but then remember when we say that um, 2 to the power of x is equal to y. So this means that if we put in the first value of y, it will be 2 to the power of x equal to negative 5. And the question is, what power of 2 will give you negative 5? If you put 0 here, it's giving you 1. If you put 1 here, it's giving you 2 as the value. So there's no way this will give you minus 5, right? So we will now reject what we have here. This has to be rejected. Okay, this has to be rejected so that we will now go straight to our second value of y, which is this. So this also means that 2 to the power of x is now equal to y and that 2 to the power of x is equal to 4, because y is 4. Then 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2. Now, the bases are the same, we equate the powers. So our x is simply equal to 2. So this is the value of x that satisfies the equation. And you can put it back in and confirm, we had 4 to the power of x, plus 2 to the power of x equals 20. And this means that we're having 4 to the power of 2, 
plus 2 to the power of 2. This implies 16, 16 plus 4. And it's giving us 20. So we are very correct to say that um, x is equal to 2. Thank you for watching.